Hey, this is Fabricio here from the Poop team and I would like to show you today how to deploy Poop on OpenShift. But first, I want to show you the Poop Operator Docs so you can find it on poopoperator.readthedocs.io and you can come here to getting started and here you can find the instructions on how to deploy OpenShift to deploy poop on OpenShift so as a first step I need to log in on the API Password here. Okay, let me test if it is working. Yes. So, as you can see here, I have a catalog. And we are using a pop index image for building a operator catalog on OpenShift. But before applying it, let me show you. the state of it on OpenShift so when you go to the operator hub you don't have any pop operator here because we are not registered on the operator hub yet so we will need to apply that catalog so let me apply it and see how it goes so I just apply it and it will be built in a couple seconds okay so as I refresh the page I can see that Op operator is here and I can just click on it and click on style install so it was installed and I can click here to see the operator I can click here on Pope to create an instance, but first I wanted to create a secret because I'll be deploying Pope using S3 storage. So let me see where can I deploy yes here secrets, workload secrets, create and I'll be creating it from YAML. put it on the default namespace yes and create from YAML oh let me get here the example that I have so I'm creating a secret here and the name will be example poop object storage I'll be using the default namespace so I have these credentials here, S3 access key ID, secret access key and bucket name and the region. But I'll just stop the recording so I can put the real credentials here. And after I put the real credentials I will just hit create. So I've just created a secret here 
and then I'll be going back to install a pop instance. So I go to install the operators, pop, and I'll be hitting create instance, and I'll be choosing S3 <coughs> storage type, and I'll be picking that secret that I just created. I'll be using a ingress type as hot and as hot DNS I'll be using pop dot and copy the rest of the link here. check the YAML view here to see if everything is as expected and we can edit here for example we can just move it and hit create so I have to wait a few seconds to see the pods As you can see, all the pods are running now and they are ready. And I can check my URL here on networking routes and I can hit that. So we can check if everything's going well on poop slash API slash v3 slash start. And I can see the installation was successful and see all the plugins that are installed here, RPM, Python, Fio, Debian, Container, and so on. I can go to pull slash API slash v3 and see all the schemas and I can log in. So I don't know the admin password and I can check it here at workload secrets so I can see here example pop admin password and I can go to YAML and copy this password here copy and login can test it from the CLI so if I install the pop CLI using this command here pip install pop CLI and I can create the config and I can put the username as admin password let me I think I, I still have it on my oh no let me copy that password again okay so I can check like poop status and see Oh yeah, I forgot to point there to the right URL so I can edit the config because I forgot to to add the base URL. So and 
get it here. should be able to get the status yes it worked so let me check if I have a profile plugin yes it's here and I can see like a poster list and it's empty, so let's create some repository now. Okay, I just created a repository with the name of operator demo. And I can use the can list the repositories again and see that it's there. And I can go back here to the schema and look at the repositories to CLI demo so you can find more about the CLI on poop or poop CLI at github slash poop slash poop CLI and if you have any questions please feel free to start a topic here on discussions at github poop slash popcorn and that's it thank you all for your attention bye